Hi there. So, as you can see, we have the laptop again, and we have USB mouse, and over here we have a USB stick with Cloud Ready on it. Uh, so what we're going to be doing this time is we'll try and install Cloud Ready on my laptop, and then set up the Linux containers on that, rather than trying to do it in VMware, because well, I'm not sure they're containers, it's more like a virtual machine, because I was trying virtualization in a virtual machine, and it didn't work. So we'll try it this time on an actual machine. We also have our Linux mug for good measure. So let's start. I have to get it to boot off the memory stick. Here we go. It doesn't quite synchronise with the camera, unfortunately, so there'll be a little bit of flicker. It's not too bad, though. It's sort of like a scanline effect, like you're looking at a CRT or something. But you won't. There you go. It's good enough for you to see what you're looking at, at least. It's a shame I couldn't make it better. So this is the second time I've tried this. Because the first time I did it, I forgot to click the install button. Which sounds tremendously stupid, but it's quite hidden away. Um, so I kind of didn't realise it was there. But what I've done is I've put an old hard drive in here. So, um... Yeah, why has it done that? Ah... Uh, yeah, this is because I set it up on the USB stick. But hopefully, turn my mouse on. If I click the clock... Here we go. Install. We can still do it. Yep, there is no data on this hard drive. Yep. I don't know whether we get a progress bar or anything. Well, I can hear the hard drive clunking away. I don't know if you can. It's about 8 gigabytes on USB stick, so I'm assuming it's not going to take too long. Yeah, no longer than 20 minutes, it says. Okay, so it just shut itself down, which implies that it's finished, I think. So, I will unplug the USB stick. And we'll try and boot up again, see what happens. It should just boot off the hard drive, I think. That's, that's promising. Well, I'm hearing clunking. That looks good. That was very easy, and it seems to run incredibly quickly on this laptop, which is interesting because it's not a very fast laptop. Something's happening. Okay. So, we have a mouse. Here we go. So, we are, or I am at least, in the United Kingdom. So I'll pick that, and I'm using a UK keyboard. So we'll skip this bit, um, so you don't see my credentials. Okay, so then we have some data collection stuff we have to agree to, so I'll just agree to it. Oh no. 
Please don't do this. I actually have to do the updates anyway. Okay, so we'll skip this bit as well, so you don't get to see what my credentials are for this either. Okay, so that's that done. And now it's doing something. I'm hearing clunking. Here we go. Okay, so we're not going to take the tour because we're not here for a review and we're not interested in that. So it seems like we're done. So I'm going to check for updates. Even though I already did it, I'll do it again. Um, so we have to go to help about Chromium OS. And then... I guess it thinks it's already up to date. Alright, fine. So then we have to go to Linux beta and click turn on and then click install. 300 megs of data, so that shouldn't be too slow. I wouldn't think. Okay, so weirdly we've got this error error mounting Linux files. Please try again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away quickly and do some research and then come back to you and see what the heck, what's gone wrong. Okay, so this is kind of unfortunate, but I couldn't find anything on the internet about this. So it suggests to me that it's just not going to work on this machine. Or maybe it just doesn't work in cloud ready, maybe you really do have to have Chrome OS. Which is a shame. But, it does demonstrate just how well um, Cloud Ready and Chrome OS run on low-end machines. Because it does run very quickly, and it boots pretty quickly as well. So, somewhat belated end to this video. So, sorry about that, but we will have more stuff coming out soon. So, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway but this should hopefully give you an idea of how you could do this on your machine if you wanted to. So, see you next time.